back to the great outdoors, everyone. Oh, yeah, we got a cool November morning. Just left deer camp. Matter of fact, look at that deer tracks right there. They've been down here drinking a little water in the pond. Literally still have the deer hearts in the freezer, in the cooler, in the back of the truck that we cleaned last night. May have that for a little midday lunch. We got a stumpy, grassy lake, perfect scenario for the crispy to go bass fishing. Probably got about four or five hours on that trolling motor. What do we got on here? 40 pound thruster, not much on there. And I've got my best friend Gray out there in the yak on the water. My kayak actually, uh, I broke a pedal last time I was catfishing. You, you guys may have saw that video. So that thing's kind of useless right now. So I thought, man, I'm going to take the crispy collector. Me and best friend Craig and his buddy Greg, we're going to do a little bass fishing today. And we're going to see if we can pop maybe a good four or five pound fall bass. And you know what it is. Top water, maybe. Jigs, definitely. Got them stumps. Pumped, guys. So let's get the crispy in the water and let's catch one of them sniffers. You know what I'm saying. Okay, I'm looking at trees, stumps. I'm looking at calm waters. I think it's gonna be a little chilly for top water at the moment, so I'm just gonna start out with something going around these stumps. These, these bass ought to be looking for something to sun against. Just kind of, kind of get one of those rogue four pounders. Right now I've just got a, it's a three eighths, a little juicy, with a crack and craw. I may switch that up to a little bit bigger jig. What I love about fishing a jig is you don't have to just pitch it at uh, a target and bump it around there. You can, you can just kind of stroke it. You can swim it. It's a super versatile bait. See some shad, guys. There's a shad right there. Oh, there he was, sitting below those shad. Wow. Just going through Lincoln logs down there. This rod and reel is cat's pajamas. Got one up on the bank on the top water. Yeah. Not big. But he will start the morning off right, little toppy top. This bass feels lukewarm, like a little chilled, not too bad. Got the middle hook, love to see that. The old two step. Two stepping in the morning, y'all. Nice one to start the day. I was really thinking I was just gonna go out in the middle with a jig around some stumps and just get a hog but I may have to uh get up here in the shallow stuff sometimes the shallow creek bite can be really good this time of year I'm chasing those shad up there a little bit of a shad or a shade line Swimming the jig. <clears throat> A 
Little guy. Yeah. Alrighty, we're gonna switch game plans. I've got a new jig hat I've been wanting to play around with. Got some sick looking new jig hats we're working on at the squad. And a saucy swimmer. Saucy swimmer would just be delightful on that baby. Got ourselves a 3.8 here. Well, this is going to be a little sex biscuit right here, this color combo. Now this is kind of like a fall winter uh, program, just doing it on the jig heads like this instead of like fishing it on a, a regular, you know, a wide gap hook or something with it uh, tucked in, tech exposed. But I got a bite or two out here earlier. I found uh, some shad just with my eyeballs, and then I, I just saw a, uh, a bird, a cormorant, eating eating some shad out here so probably gonna get this hung up there's some timber out here but what i want to do is let this sink to the bottom and i'm just gonna reel it i'm gonna reel it up let it stop basically yo-yo it back to the boat just found a little group of shad swim bait deployed Plan worked though. Find a school of those babies. It's got a couple of hogs in there. Just gotta stay around these shad. There's one. Oh my god, that was a good thump. Mm. Boy, he doinked it. I don't know how I didn't get that bass. Swimmy fish. Yep. Come here, you. Chunky butt. Ate that saucy nicely. Yeah, on the bottom. There's that tree again. All right, I think I'm going to reposition after I get this out. I'm going to tie on a worm. There it is. All right, let's see if we got an anchor in here. I avoided it for too long, guys. I was like, ah, I just, I just don't want to put on a worm. I don't want to put on a worm. I want to catch them on a jig. I want to catch them on that, all that juicy, juicy stuff. But a worm, it just gets way more bites than a jig. And I was getting bites on the swim bait, but I was getting stuck. I was getting hung. So without a graph, I ended up finding some brush with my swim bait. And I just said, you know what? Instead of throwing that swim bait in there, getting stuck, might get a fish on it, but I just wasn't able to fish it very good through there. I said, I'm going to put on a worm, fish it through this brush, and I found a couple of brush piles right here off a point. And as long as they're not, as long as I'm not seeing busting, I'm going to stay away from the top water and swim bait and just keep the worm in my hand. There's that brush I've been getting hung in. That ought to be Doink City. Come on.
Yes, sir, that's the way it's supposed to happen. There we go. When in doubt, throw on a worm. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Mm. Oh, just lost me one there in the build dance position. Blazons. Keep them locked and loaded here. In my big tote. Big tote. Big tote is uh, definitely coming handy. Taking out the crispy collector since I don't have a. Uh, tackle big stack tackle storage system I just carry it around you never know what kind of plastics you're really gonna need and then when they get on something you need more of them totes pretty handy and they fit the uh, tackle boxes quite nicely too put a bunch in there get you a toad at guggensquad.com I'm just I'm getting dialed in the brush right here quite big that last bite I got going real slow through there just working it in the nooks time to bomb one back here a little beef jerky on the tackle box and a worm that's a pretty good Saturday So the technique I'm using with a worm, I'm just working it on the bottom and lifting it over the brush when I feel it. And usually when I feel something that's real juicy, nice big limb, I'll usually tap it a couple times. And if the, the limb's hard enough, that weight, using that tungsten, it'll make a noise, make a sound. I just do that to kind of trigger a bite and if I'm not feeling anything I'll just work it pretty fast <clears throat> wait till I make contact with something and then really dig in there give it those little pumps oh yeah there's a good good spot Shocked I did not get. Oh, there's one. I was about to be shocked. <sighs> Speak of the demon. There's that little green demon screaming. Yes. So, exactly what I was just talking about some of that stuff was kind of branchy soft and then I hit one like good hard limb bumped it let that tungsten hit it I'm using that green tungsten too in this dirty water and just boom, bumped it a couple times I think it's the, really the noise more than the color that really gets them that's a nice healthy fish right there oh yeah Gotta love it, baby. Worm in it. See ya. All right, we're getting some bites here on this brush. It's it's still not not on fire, but working it slow. Why well, it's still cold out here, and we're getting some bites using that worm. Uh, there's a lot of brush. Without having a graph, it's pretty tough. But Texas rig, it's kind of a depth finder in itself. Just throw it out there, drag it around till you feel something. Oh yeah. Give it that little word. Just boom, boom, boom. Try to make contact with that weight. It's very key. Let's try to get a bigger one, man. I'm ready for like a five. 
you work in that Texas rig and you're lifting it up and it feels like it's it's just falling a long ways again that's usually you're on a piece of cover you're trying to lift it up over and it's making it it's it's not going towards you it's just coming up and you let it go back down so you can kind of figure it out of fishing the texas rig see how high that cover is but what i like to do when i hit a piece of cover that's tall i'll recognize it i'll, I'll work it I'll work it up the tree and then when I get to the other side I don't just reel it over I'll get it just to the top and then I'll drop my rod tip and sometimes let out even more line so it falls straight down to the other side because the bass might be on the other side just waiting and if you reel it over the top and it falls you know four or five feet in front of him he's not gonna grab it so got to focus on every good piece of cover here today it's seeming like hmm. <clears throat> god I just thumped it right there it's right by the boat Gosh, that feels good. It feels really good. That's a good one. Oh man, that fish felt way bigger than that, but it's a juicy. I don't know if it's the same one. It was a good hard thump. Oh yeah, he's fat and happy. Ah, perfect hook set with that hammer hook, man. The thing just pegs him. Pegarooski, there we go. That's a nice fish. Awesome fish right there, guys. That was fun. Getting a little bigger. What was cool about that is I, I swear I've hit this same piece of brush like probably a dozen times. And I came in the cast before, I, I hit it again and got hit. I was like, oh, I know that felt like a good bite. Threw back in there and then boom got it ran with it i thought that fish was a lot bigger i thought it was gonna be like eight pounds the way it first surged i don't even think it was in brush it was just super healthy and kept that rod bit love to see it get out another blazing this is one of my favorite colors in this worm now typically my my worm selection like if i'm throwing a mondo i like I like purples deep reds but there's something about the old Okeechobee. <clears throat> Just gets her done. The four rod hammer hook is just perfect in this. And as far as weights go, I'm fishing a three eighths, which that's that's probably my favorite for a fishing brush from you know eight to twelve. If I'm going out to like 20, then I'll put on a half, maybe a five eighths or three quarter. If it's like real deep, but typically three eighths is the jam. Go right back out there. I think, I think there might be another one. There's one. Be a better fish. Nope. Nope. Skinny guy. Another one. Come here, little salad. That one was very close to the boat. I just discovered a piece of cover. Like I was explaining, I came over the top, and then it took a long ways to sink on the other side. Just a tall piece of brush, and there was a little hard spot on the other side, and I think there's another one down there. My goodness. Let's 
see it. Just juicy worm fish. Juicy old worm eaters. I don't know, guys. I don't know if it gets much better. That's what we love. Love those worm eaters. Oh, it feels better. That's a good one. I think this is number 10. Slob. Kind of skinny, but I like him. Shoo, doggy. That's that old worm bite you want. You just get that. Oh, golly. Yes, ladies and gents, that is a. That's a tasty one right there. That one put up a good fight. They're all fighting very good, very hard. They're just not biting it great. That was a long cast right there, and he, he probably thumped it the best. You know, four pounder, nice, nice fish. I want that big though. I want that like six, seven, because these are feeling like six and sevens. I'm first hooking up on them. Oh, he bit my thumb. He wanted a little extra bite, a little nibble. Smash that like button, y'all. Worming. Gonna have to reload. Googlesquad.com. Use code LFG. Save ten on your worms and all other stuff. Dude, that was a good bite. Dad, gum it. It's just sat there with it. I thought it was brush and I went to check it and he pulled down. Yeah, he did. Yeah, you can break it if you need to. You got some leverage on this. What is this, nine feet long? Yeah, that's a stick. That's uh that's a man's stick right there. It's in there good. <laughs> yeah. What kind of line you got on here too? 50? Uh, that's 20. We're linking chips to ripping lips. You're like, I call AAA and tell them I need a <laughs> anchor. <laughs> Anchored up. This is my spot lock right here. I got, got the old lead shoe down there. And I think it's literally 360 degree brush. So we'll try this for a little bit, maybe move, see if there's more uh, brushy spots like this, but it seems to be the deal right now. I've been trying shallow swim bait stuff, get a bite here and there, but this seems to be the most consistent thing, and it's fun getting that worm thump. Come on, man. Feels good on the plums. There's one. Woo! Broke me off. Broke you off? Yep. You think it was a giant or you think it was a giant? I think I just absolutely hammered him. Too, too big of a hook set? Yeah. That was a mondo. That, I mean, it felt like I was on the earth. There was zero movement. Alrighty, well, folks, I just broke off my biggest bite of the day. I gave him, I gave him the business. I gave him the boardroom special right by the boat. That was way too much hook set with the Muscle XL. I mean, that thing's that thing's got some backbone. It's nice for uh, long casts and, and getting them out of the brush, but not right under the boat hook sets. Want to tone that down, Scoach. Fresh retie, four rod hammer hook, three eighths ounce. Guggen Tungsten, I am using a bobber stopper. And we will get out one of our last couple of blazons. Going through them today. Mm. Dude, these fish are tugging. 
Get over here in my bill dance chair and land this little hog. There we go. In the brush. Little brush candy. Loving it. That's a really healthy fish. Aggressive. Oh God, dude, that one felt nice. He's in the brush. I, I wasn't sure if it was a fish and then it started moving. I think he was already just in the brush. Another retie, good thump, getting some better bites now. One last retie, hopefully. This time I'm putting on a different hook. It's that five aught just worming hook the gold series that one you just insert it right into the worm um yeah, it just depends on you know what what i'm doing with it but uh either one for right now This one's gonna come through the brush a little better just because it doesn't have as long of a tail, but I like really like swimming this one. Swimming right in the trees and setting up. Yeah, just breaking it off. I'm on the exact same thing I just got hung on. Probably gonna be another retie. Oh, I'm about to just throw on a jig at this point. Swirl? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I just gotta find where that. Oh, I'm in some brush right here. I got bit. Oh, God, that feels big, dude. I got it here. It's a good one. It's long and skinny. Yeah, he's not that big, but. Dude, when I hooked him, I was like. That is the one. That's a... <sighs> he's a pretty good fish. That's a six pound body and he's three and a half. Four. He's knocking on the four door. Great hook nut. Sit, sit down like that. Dude, I, when I hooked him, that rod was just straight bent. He's got, some, he's got a thick ass back. Nice fish. Stuff there. Shout out to Bill Dance for the old seated position. So, what does he do? He kisses him. I sniff him. Yeah, buddy. Uh, these fish are positioned in the in the channel, basically. So I, th I think with this cold front, they're they're going tight to cover, and they are hiding, hiding in the deep spot. So. That's perfect for the worm and jig. Just dragging it slow. That's it. That's all I'm gonna do the rest of the day. I think I, all I'm holding out for right now, I've caught caught some numbers. I just want a I want a pig. I can't miss him. Oh, it's so bad for the fish when I put one of those on. Get your popcorn. In all likelihood, this is gonna end up in a snag, but snags are where they're at. Oh, there he is. No. Dude, that definitely hit that jig better though. He is dialed. You can't mistake a jig thump. Juicy! Come on! How's he feel? Oh, he, was, he was quiet. So I was thinking he felt great. That jig thump, man, that's a different level. You do love a jig thump. Uh, just, it's just there. Like, when they grab a jig, they got it. There's no questioning. This guy, he's on fire right now. 
That's gotta be like 20 for you, right? I'm harnessing my inner live scope. <laughs> Going back to the old ways. Yeah, I think that's probably around 20. Watch your rod, watch your rod. Come on. Come on, baby. One time. One time, seven pounder. It's going right at me, though. It might be okay. Dude, this might be a big good one. I don't think so. Staying down. I don't think it's good. It might be. I don't think it's Decent. That's a good one, dude. That's a decent one. That's a like a four, maybe. Blazing worm. My man. There we go. That deserves a good YouTube moment. How do you feel about it? Oh, pretty good. I almost lost a rod in the process. I already broke one rod and haven't caught one in like six hours. So this one feels pretty good. Thank you for the blazing worm. Yes, yes sir. See yes, you, sir. See you. Pretty good one. Show you guys the program. Texas rig, always gonna get more bites. If you're looking for a hog, look no further than a jig. That's a half ounce right there. It's a, a bluegill color. This is my favorite out of the bunch. We make uh, quite a few different jigs, but this one is, is made for dragging or just kind of pitching really punching and heavy flipping but the bottom of this jig is designed so it will sit when you're dragging it on a hard spot and then if you're you're hitting cover the side of that jig will catch it and it will impact the cover and make a sound so that's what we want that right there is the rattling chunk I'm just fishing a channel and I've caught well over 15 bass in the channel and there's cover on both sides and earlier in the morning they were kind of right in the channel now they're up on the sides and they're feeding which is it's a good way to tell when they're up on the sides there's one little guy right on the cover I think this spot is just reloading I guess they swell up if they're underwater for a they while. do that was probably a, a six inch originally <laughs> Now it's that's, like a, a, that's a normal Cinco on Viagra right there. That's hilarious. Just pulled that out of that fish's mouth. He might have liked it in there, I don't know. I caught one on fork like that one time. Had a whole bag of Berkeley lizards. I think I pulled out seven or eight. Jeez. They crushed like right in front of the boat right here. Oh, I got one. Oh, dude, he's coming out. There he goes. Oh, oh tasty. Giant. You were right in that stuff. I was in, in the right thick, in dude. That was really cool. That's a five. I could have sworn that was a monster sitting there. <laughs> it was at first. Oh! oh. Him. Doesn't count. Never happened jig i popped it off a limb and it just got hammered by a sledge no one now yep all right all right we got greg behind the camera guys this is uh my biggest one of the day right here popped it off of a branch my last two fish popped it off a branch and it just got absolutely pummeled that's a juicy one right there boys yes god that feels good Woo. Juicy jig for the win! Giant, boys. Look at this You're on? Definitely over five. Oh! <laughs> nice, dude. Five inches for sure. Hey, you want to hold them next to each 
<laughs> oh man, that was one of the better jig bites I've had in a while. Look at that pretty fish, guys. My gosh. My gosh, that tickled my fancy. Love to see it. The GoPro had just died and I was, I was fishing the juicy jig through the branches. I broke off Texas rigs like five times. Said, I'm just gonna die on that juicy. And my last two bites, I've just been working it through the brush like I was saying earlier. Same thing with the, a t the Texas rig and the jig. Fill the cover, it's always good to bump that cover. It makes a sound, sometimes you get a reaction like that and it was just boom. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. hey. boy. oh gosh. I might need help. I don't have a net, but I might need help. Well don't go with the anchor. You're gonna go with the anchor line. I can't help it. You take it, go ahead. Easy. I'm just gonna bring it. Okay, yeah. No, you got it, you got it. Unless you want me right, to. Go ahead, grab him. Grab him. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. He's, got him. he's not at the boat. He's close. I just don't want him to get in that anchor line. Take him this way. Oh, yeah, buddy, look at that toad, son. Football, baby. That's yeah. A big, that's a big one, boys. Blazing, blazing worm. Blazing worm. There you go. What do you think? Call it. That's a big one. Six nine. Six nine, I love it. I am going to. Uh, Hmm. He's a different color than every fish that's been caught. I'm going to go seven. I, I'm going to go with Greg. Six nine just sounds fun. Six ten. Six ten, Greg. <laughs> Called it. Can you get a pick? You got a yeah, I camera? Got, yeah, I got lots of cameras. In the in the brush? In the brush. One, two, three. That looks so big, dude. Ten pound line. Ten pound line. I cannot believe it. Ten pound line, baby. Outstanding. Thanks for your help. <laughs> my pleasure. Anchored to your boat. It's running around, almost wrapping the anchor. My rod's in your boat. That was oh, a rodeo. Nice. We had to rodeo that one. Same exact thing. In the brush, work it. Do you hit it hard or slow pull? Hard. Hard. would love to see it. The two biggest ones they've smashed. Oh man, I thought that might be a good one to end on. Are you, you thinking bigger? I mean, I don't know. I, I, I'll go home. You ready? I'll go eat. <laughs> well, y'all, sun going down on the old Merc right now. Pretty daggum good day. Felt really good to get the jig in the hand, the worm, get those bites and just deep. I mean, they were pulling. They were, they were pulling good. I enjoyed it a lot. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed some of the tips on fishing the worm jig in the brush. I think that'll help you. And it was awesome to take the crispy collector out and slam some bass. Definitely the most bass I've ever caught out of the crispy collector. Got to christen it with a bass over five pounds. Wah-bam! So if you guys want to check out any of the, uh, the worms I was using, jigs, tackle, gear, you know where to go. Link down below. Use my code LFG to save 10% at checkout. And I think you guys should be in here on another great outdoor adventure. Invention? Adventure. That's what it was. So... We're going to be back on a little bit of hunting, a little bit of fishing. The fall is a great time to be in the great outdoors, guys. So stay tuned for more, and I'll see you back out in. Have a good one.